Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how to uh, use the MirrorMe plugin to create very intricate designs in Illustrator. Now, most of these designs could actually be created uh, using uh, obviously Pass and just build them up yourself, but uh, it would probably take quite a bit of time to uh, create some of these designs, certainly just manually adding points. So I'm just going to now go over to uh, the MirrorMe tool, there's the MirrorMe tool, but I'm just going to initially set up a just a just a rectangle. That's the initial starting point for the, all the designs. So, well, of course, you could create any. So you could have a circular design or points as well. So I'm just going to go to the mirror me tool. And now, as soon as I've done that, you can actually see straight away it works, creating symmetrical designs. Just move it around until you're quite happy with the design. So I'm just going to set that point. I think, oh, that's great. That's a great design. Click it there. It'll come up with an option, apply to selection, which I'm going to use. And then it just continues on. So basically, you just can continue from that point. If you want to stop, you can, of course, stop. But I'm just going to continue on. Just apply to selection. Yeah, I've got a more complicated shape already appearing underneath the uh, the mask. So the active area there, you actually see there's a little active access point sector there. So uh, that's the only thing that's actually been uh, mirrored, not obviously the uh, the mast area. So just going to stop at that point, apply to selection, and I'm just going to extend that out a little bit more, apply to selection, and you can see it's really, it's still very quick. Just creating more and more complicated paths. I'm just going to yeah, apply to selection, and that's it. I'm just going to finish at that point because that's enough. Right. I'm just going to just drag that over a bit so you can actually see. Now, of course, you could create that uh, design manually if you wish. Quite easy, I'm certain, just by adding millions of different points. But uh, the Mirror Me plugin, well, creates it very quick and easy. One thing I would like to see in the plugin. And it would be a great feature maybe for an additional uh, release. And that would be uh, every time you do the uh, thing. I'm just going to quickly show you what I mean. I'm just going to quickly create another design. And go back to the mirror me. And I'm just going to quickly go across like that. So at that point, I think, click on there. Apply to selection. Now, what would be great when it does the apply to selection? It would be wonderful if it could actually generate a symbol as well at that point. Or even maybe a swatch. I'm perfectly happy to add it either, but uh, a, a symbol would be great. Just a, obviously a preference or something in the mirror me panel. Just creates a selection every time you just select that point. So then you just create another design, apply the selection, and it creates another design. And that would be great if it could put it into the symbol palette. Anyway, that would be a nice addition that could generate thousands of different designs as you uh, work through. And of course, at this point, I was like, actually. Just going to quickly also show you, of course, I've been using number of axes 7, but you could extend that, say, to 8, 12, 15, 16, and just continue the design, make more and more complicated designs just there, apply to selection, and of course, at that point, you can actually just hold down the, the cursor and actually move the act, active sector around, so just, just slightly, so you can create even more crazy designs. And at this point, I'm actually going to call it quits. Otherwise, it's just going to get out of hand. But you can just continue near enough on forever. It's quite addictive, I think, as a plugin. And great pass that can be used, of course, throughout Illustrator, CC, CS6, as well as CS5.